All right, let's get right to it because we only get a little bit of time. If you are silent discoing along with me, <clears throat> pull up I Am Loving Awareness on my Spotify account. And I'm going to start music right now. So this morning, come into a comfortable seat and actually slide your knees a little bit away from one another so you can get a good firm hold. You can always sit up on something. And then start to bring your heart forward and over to one side, doesn't matter which. And then circle around your seat. And then just start to make that a little bit more fluid. Around and around. Around your ribs. Get your head involved around your seat. Two more. And then switch other direction. I'm waving at all of you, good morning. And then find your middle ground, come forward, come back. Forward, back. Moving with the breath. The invitation is to close your eyes and just begin to move inside. Moving into the inner world. Three, two, one, come all the way forward. Take a big breath. Stretch your arms behind you and lace your fingers. Press the heels of your hands together. And then release. Sweep your right hand over to your side, your left arm up and over. Take a big breath. As you exhale, bend your elbow. Sweep it all the way around. Switch it. Exhale. Come all the way around. So you're just making it fluid. You're making it spherical. You're giving everything a chance to breathe. One more. Both sides. And then come to your hands and knees. From your hands and knees, set your hips back to your heels. Mm -hmm. And then set your right fingertips out to the right, your left leg out to the left in your Padangasana. Take your other arm over your ear, bend your elbow, and then sweep it back. And take it side to side. Bend your elbow, sweep it back. Again, over. Bend your elbow. And this time, when you're over in your Padangasana, stay right here. Bend your elbow, turn your heart up. And then sweep your hand around, pick up your foot, bend your knee, kick your foot back into your hand. Keep kicking your foot back into your hand, turn your chest, look down at your fingertips. And then as you re-extend, come all the way back around and switch, starting with your Padigasana. Bend your elbow wide. And then sweep your hand down, pick up your foot. As you hold your foot, kick your foot back, turn your chest, and then look down at your fingertips. And then re-extend and come all the way down. Come into the seed shape of your child's pose. As you inhale, roll up your spine, sweep your arms to the sky, take a breath in. And as you exhale, fold over your legs. As you inhale, come up to hands and knees. I'm going to move back just a little bit. As you exhale, lower, knees, chest, and chin. Slide through to cobra pose or upward facing. Take a breath. And then exhale, lower all the way back down. Press to hands and knees. Press back to child's pose. Inhale, roll up your spine. Stand up on your knees. Sweep your arms to the sky. As you exhale, fold slowly. Inhale, rise up to tabletop. Curl your toes. Exhale, lower your chest, lower your chin. Slide through to cobra, take your breath. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to hands and knees. Exhale your hips to your heels. Last one, inhale, roll up your spine, take a huge breath in. Exhale, fold over, almost like you're resisting gravity. Inhale, rise to hands and knees. Exhale, knees, <clears throat> chest and chin. Slide through to your belly, take a breath in. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale to hands and knees. 
Exhale your hips to your heels. Inhale back to your hands and knees. Curl your toes. Take it to a dog. And then you can walk your dog hand, hand, foot, foot. Bend your knees, lift your seat a little bit higher. Take one more breath. Exhale it completely. And then let's open the windows a little bit, start to get into the chest, in your dog. Look forward between your hands. Inhale, come forward to plank pose. Exhale, take it to a dog. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale to a dog. And then can you find the springiness of it? Can you find the levity of it? All right, the thing that keeps us moving is moving forward. Moving forward into the next. Moving forward into the potential. So come forward into your heart, into your lungs. Three, two, one. Take it to a dog. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, come forward to plank pose, take a breath. Exhale, all the way down onto your belly. Inhale, rise up to cobra pose. Pick up your hands, pick up your feet. Flip your palms to the sky. If you know it, mushti mudra. Draw your elbows back as you make your fist. Breathe it three. Breathe it two. Take it to an upward facing by placing your hands on Raz. All the way up, take a breath in. Up and over the toes. Down dog. And then look forward to your hands. Walk, sip, or jump to the top. Inhale, lift to lengthen. Exhale, fold in half. Rise and stand, reach up, take a breath. Exhale your hands to your heart. Let's greet the day. Sun salutations. Inhale, reach up, take a breath. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen your spine. Exhale, Chaturanga, step float. Inhale to back bend. Exhale to walk. Breath in. Breath out five. Inhale. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale, two. Last one, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, your feet forward. Take a breath, lengthen your spine. Fold in half. Root to rise, rise to stand. Right through your center, right through your middle, fold in half. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga, step float. Inhale to back bend. Exhale to a dog. Three breaths this round. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Look forward. Exhale your feet forward. Take a breath, lengthen your spine. Fold in half. Root to rise, rise to stand. Exhale your hands to your heart. Standing on your left leg, bring your right knee to your chest. Hold your shin. Find your balance. And then let your leg rest into your hand a little bit. So much so that you can point your right toes down, out of back bend, lean back. Maybe challenge it, look up at the ceiling. Three, two, come to center, take your arms to the sky, take a big breath in. As you exhale, sweep your leg back, take your arms back with you. Inhale to Utkatasana, take a breath. And then step your left leg back, arms back. Keep moving, inhale Utkatasana, exhale right leg. Inhale Utkatasana, exhale left leg and hold. 
Breathe it three. Just finding your hovering point over your belly. Two. Inhale, come right up to a high lunge and then open it to warrior two. Breathe your two. Maybe flip your palms to the sky. Get broader through your collarbones. Sit a little bit deeper without losing the ground of your back foot. And then flip your palms back down. Can you sense that there's a readiness and yet a softness? Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale to Trikonasana Triangle. And then squeeze your legs towards one another as you inhale, rise straight up. As you exhale to your warrior two. Inhale, revolve. Sit a little bit deeper in the front knee. Plug into your right heel, pull it underneath of you. Keep reaching back. Three, two. Let your hands simply windmill to the earth. Step back, plank pose. Breathing your plank. Right knee, right upper arm. Step it back. Left knee, left upper arm. Step it back. Right, left, right, left, right. Last one, left, right knee, right upper arm. Sweep it straight back behind you, three-legged dog. Right knee, left upper arm. Sweep it back behind you. Inhale forward, plank pose with your right foot lifted. Exhale, three-legged chaturanga. Both feet to the ground, back bend. Take it to a dog, exhale. Breath in, breath out. Let's take our first lion's breath. Inhale through your nose. Stick out your tongue. <sighs> Inhale, look forward. Exhale, feet forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Rise to stand, sweeping your arms out and up. Exhale your hands to your heart. And then find your one-legged mountain. Left knee up. Hold your shin, point your left toes down and let your shin just kind of rest in your arms. Now find your back bend by using your own leverage, letting the knee rest, lean back. Can you look up at the ceiling? Can you aim your heart to the sky? And then come back to center, arms up, inhale. Step it back, sweep your arms back. Utkatasana, take a breath. Exhale, step your right leg back. Inhale, center. Exhale, left leg. Last one, inhale, center. Exhale, right leg and hold. Find your hover point. Keep lifting through the back of your arms. Breathe at three, two. On your inhale, come up to a high lunge. On your exhale, to warrior two. Same opportunity to simply flip the palms, widen from left collarbone to right collarbone. Sit into it. Keep that width as you turn your palms back down. On your next inhalation, straighten your left leg. On your exhale, come to triangle. Pressing down into your left foot. Now start to press down into your right foot and squeeze them towards one another. As you inhale, rise up. As you exhale, come back to two. Keep the front knee as bent as you can. Revolve. Really challenge it. Plug into your left foot. Pull it underneath of you. You should feel even more length from left armpit to left fingertips. Left hip to left fingertips. And then place your hands down. Step back, plank pose. Left knee, left upper arm, touch. Step back, nice and easy, right. Step back, left, right. Left, right, last one, left, hold. Sweep it back to three-legged dog, take a breath. Exhale, left knee, right upper arm. Inhale, sweep it back. Come forward, three-legged plank pose. Three-legged chaturanga. 
Both feet to the earth, back bend. Take it to a dog, exhale. Second opportunity for a little cleansing breath. Inhale through your nose. Stick out your tongue. Shake out your head, shake out your neck. Now step your feet together at the back of the mat. Turn all ten toes out and bend your knees nice and deep. Option one, play with straightening your legs. Option two, add a little baby hop. Clap your feet. Option two, a big hop. Clap your feet together over your head. Here we go. One. Clap two times. Clap three times. Four times, you get the idea. Last one, yogic squat, top of the mat. Hands to your heart. Go take a little breather, simply straighten your legs. Exhale, come back down. Put your hands down, bent knee, down dog, step hop. Yogic squat, hands to your heart. Take a breather, stand up. Exhale, lower down. Last time, hands down, bent knee, down dog. Yogic squat. Hands to your heart, and then settle in. Oh, that was good. Slide your hands underneath of your heels, Padahastasana style, right? But underneath of the heels rather than your toes. Rock a little bit side to side. All right, show you what that looks like. Broaden through your chest, but squeeze your knees in. And then let it go. Release your hands to the earth, hips to the sky. Keeping your nice wide stance, maybe even wider. Fold in half. Hold opposite elbows. Start to sway it up, right and left. Trace a figure eight on the earth. And release your hands to the earth. Roll up your spine. Sweep your arms out and up. Hold your opposite elbows over your head. Walk your feet underneath of you. And then the invitation is to close your eyes. <clears throat> Open your eyes, reach your arms to the sky, take a breath in. Bend your elbows, bend your knees. Sorry, bend just your knees, Utkatasana. Let's add a twist. Bring your hands to your heart. You're going to twist to your right. I'm not going to marry you this time. Hooking your elbow inside, split your hands. Keep sitting back into the seat, half for full bind around your left leg. Option one, stay here. Option two, right to your bird of paradise. Standing up, bring your left leg with you. From the strength of the standing leg, keep lifting your heart. Maybe add a little twist over to your right. If you want to extend your left leg, great. It's early in practice, it might be too soon. Keep squeezing your left upper arm with your left leg. Nice and easy, come on back down. And then release, let that go. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, bent knee, down dog, step or hop to it. Plank pose, breath in. Vinyasa, exhale. Back bend. Down dog, exhale. Bend your knees, step your left foot forward. Take your hands nice and wide. And then stay up on the ball of the back foot. Put your left hand inside of your left leg. Put your right hand on your back. All right, so we're gonna fight for the balance. Start to come forward through your chest, look out. Think that your knee is pressing your shoulder, and now turn. Twist it open to the right. Take your collarbone open to the right. Keep turning it open if and when you're ready. Reach your right arm to the sky. Keep pressing your left knee to your left shoulder. Three, two, add a half bind, add a full bind. Spin your right heel to the earth. And as you inhale, just gently Straighten your left leg, maybe an inch or two. Bend your knee. Straighten an inch or two. 
Exhale, bend your knee. One more, straighten. Bend your knee and hold three. Full down, side angle, two. To let it go, split your hands. Inhale, rise all the way up. Straighten your front leg, revolve your pose as you straighten. Reach back. And then you're gonna turn your left toes to the long edge of your mat. Bring your left hand all the way across to your right ankle. Take your time. Right hand to your back. Twist to the right. Put a little bend in your knees. And then sweep your right arm up to the sky. Sweep it all the way around. Grab your left ankle. If you can't quite hold, walk your feet in. Take your left arm up to the sky. Sweep it around. Right arm to the sky. You get it. Keep going. And the next time, your right arm is underneath, eagle your arms. Stand all the way up. Left toes to the top, right toes to the top. Draw your right knee into your chest. Find your one-legged mountain. Breathe at three. Breathe at two. Wrap your leg around for your eagle pose. Take a breath and then exhale. Bring your elbows towards your knees, rounding your back. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to fight for it. Keep sitting down. Can you look right over your wrists, right over your fingertips? Three, two. Come back to your one-legged mountain. Unwind your arms as you go. To warrior three, sweep your arms back. Sweep your leg back. Interlace your fingers behind you. Take your heart forward. We're gonna meet in chair pose. Take a breath in, feet together. Exhale, fold, let it go. Separate your feet hips with distance. Take a yoga toe grip, padangustasana. Wrap your thumbs all the way underneath and fold. Feel your two feet solid on the earth. Even though you may be on a yoga mat in your home, that home is still connected to a foundation. That foundation is still connected to the earth. You are still plugged in. Release your hands to your hips. Exhale, not only flat back, but a little bend in your knees. Stand up all the way up, reach your arms to the sky. And then come right back into your Utkatasana. Bring your hands to your heart. Let's add our twist to the left, hooking your right arm inside. Split your hands. And then half or full bind around your right leg. So maybe you stay right here. Maybe you add your bird of paradise, really using the squeeze of the right leg into the right arm to lift you. Find your tall, tall spine. Look over your left shoulder. Come on back to center. Place your foot back down, no rush. Exhale, fold. Let that go. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Bend knee, downward facing. Step or hop to it. Plank pose, breath in. Chaturanga, breath out. Inhale to back bend. Exhale to a dog. Bend your knees, lunge your right foot forward. Take your arms out, right? So I'm taking the arms out mostly just to give myself some space to maneuver. You're way up on the ball of the back foot. Bring your right hand inside. Heel the hand, heel the foot, shoulder to knee, left hand to your back. Right here, think, you're looking forward, think, you're doing a back bend. In your neurology, in your imagination, grow the pose, go out through the crown. Keep growing the pose as you turn to the left. Turn your chest, if and when you're ready, left arm high. And then add a half bind, add a full bind. Turn your left toes out to the left and just a little straighten. Press your right leg down into the earth. Bend your knee. Press into the earth, bend your knee. One more time, press. Bend your knee, hold. Hold your side angle, hold your bind. Three, two, split your hands. Inhale, rise up. 
straighten your front leg. Stay straight in the front leg. Revolve your pose. And then you're just going to pivot your right toes to the left. Bring this right hand all the way across to your left ankle. I'm going to stay like this today because it's easier. Bend your knees. Left hand starts at your seat. Can you see how I'm taking the right hip over towards the right foot, but the chest towards the left? Take your left arm up. Breathe it. Sweep it around. Grab a hold of your right ankle. If it's impossible, walk your stance. And then take it for a swim. Nice and fluid. Just moving side and side. Three. Two. Next time the left arm is underneath, eagle your arms. Rise to stand. Eagle to the top. Right toes forward. Left toes forward. Gather your left knee to your chest. Get your balance. Hmm. Easier said than done. And then wrap it around. And let's get into it. Get low. Settle your elbows to your knees. Your lips to your wrists. I hope you're listening to this playlist because right now we are jamming out to some talking heads. All right, my friends, unwind it to a one-legged mountain. Leg goes up, arms go up. Take it to warrior three. Sweep your arms back as you sweep your leg back. Interlace your fingers, think least habitual grip. And then take a big step back. Inhale. Exhale your hands down to the ground. Step back, downward facing. All right, second time, put your feet together. Bend your knees wide. Start your hops. Hop it up one. Clap. Two times, clap. Three times. Oh, that was almost. Four times. Yogic squat to the top. Hands to your heart. Sit down, pick up your feet. Hold. So you're balancing your little happy baby. Rock it side to side. Bring your legs in, Navasana. Okay, so we'll get three times to rock. You're gonna hold onto your legs if you need it. Rock back like plow. Forward, feet down, arms forward, try to pick up your butt. Do it again, rock back. Pick it up a little higher. Last one, we're meeting in Utkatasana. Bhakasana, crow pose. Use all that work we did in the hips. Pick up your feet. Five. You got it. Four. Three. We're just going to put the feet down. Two. Place your feet to the earth. Stand up. Padahastasana. Stand on your hands. And then stretch out your thumbs. So your thumbs touch like that. Keep bending your knees, putting your belly on your thighs. And then slide your hands out from underneath. Bring your hands behind your heels. Fold in. The better the fit, the more you get the heel in your palm, your knees and your armpits. And then release your hands. Walk your fingertips forward. Come up onto the balls of your feet. All right. This one's a lot easier to tell you to do in class and not have to do it at the same time. So here we go. Look forward. You're finding your balancing point. Notice I'm up on the balls of the feet. Reach your hands back one at a time. Keep your balance and keep looking forward. Hold your heels. And take a little hop around the room. Hop everywhere. Keep hopping. Keep hopping. Hop to the back. 
Hop to the front. Ooh, this would take forever. Three, two. Okay, let it go. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend knee, down dog, step hop. Plank pose. Exhale to your belly. Inhale, rise up to cobra. Exhale, lower down. Slide your hands back a little further. Inhale, rise up, cobra. Pick up your feet. Bring your hands back onto your hips. Swivel your fingers backwards. Elbows in. Rise up. And then exhale, lower all the way down. Make a pillow for your forehead. Maybe turn an ear to the mat. Maybe bend your knees. Catch your breath. Set your hands underneath of your shoulders, tuck your toes. Make everything strong, pretend you're already in plank. Take a breath in. As you exhale, push up plank pose. Hold your plank. Trust yourself. Trust your strength. Take it to a dog, take a little breather. Come forward to a plank pose. Walk your feet in until you're in a hovering tabletop. I think in some practices they call this a bear plank. Option one, hold. Option two, left knee, right elbow, center. Right knee, left elbow, center, right? So it's really tiny. Squeeze in, squeeze in. Keep going, three. Really press the earth away from you. Two. And then back to center. Walk back to plank. Take it to a dog. And then rise up to your tiptoes. Look forward. Think crow pose. Walk, step, or hop. Find your crow. Pick up your knees. Ten breaths. Eight. Can you straighten your arms? Squeeze your feet in. Five, four, three, two, one. Place your feet down. Utkatasana, take a breath. Rise and stand. Hands to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up, take a breath. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, simply step your left leg back, straight leg lunge. Catch your breath. And then staying up on the ball of the foot. Straighten your front leg as you draw the right hip up and back. So you're not actually straightening the leg by straightening the leg. You're straightening the leg by drawing the right seat towards the back and holding ground with your right foot. Keep looking forward all the way from your pubis. Bring your right hip to its own side. Bring your left hip to its own side. Keep looking forward. Out a twist. Bring your left hand across. X marks the spot. Elbow to shin. Right hand to your back. Look forward, look forward, look forward. Find the back bend. Keep seeing where you're going as you turn to the right. As you twist it out to the right. It's going to get interesting. It's going to get juicy. Keep working. Keep working. For me, sometimes I can only keep my right hand right here. If you want to take it up to the sky, great. Breathe it three. Breathe it two. And then to let it go, place your hands down to the ground. Gather your right knee into your chest. Squeeze it and send it back. Three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right upper arm. Hold. Maybe take a kundinyasana. Pick up your back foot. Three, two. Back to your three-legged dog. Take a breath. And then exhale, bring it across, over to the left, hold. I'm on the blade of my right foot. I still have my back foot on the ground. Look forward. Draw your right hip back. Flex your right toes like crazy. Step back, plank pose. Chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale to a dog. Hmm.
tiptoe to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold it in. Step your right leg back, straight leg lunge. Okay, so you're here. Your stance is really long. Look forward. Look forward all the way from the pubis. And then straighten the left leg by drawing the left hip back. Keep pulling the left seat back as you root down into your left foot. Are you still looking forward? Is there a little smile in the chest? Right, so the collarbones are open. And then add your twist, bring your right hand across, left hand to your back. Reach, 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 find your twist. Easy and soft, let it go. Rebend your left knee. Inhale. Pull your left knee to your chest. Sweep it back behind you. Take a breath in. Left knee, left upper arm. Hold or pick up the back foot. Kundinyasana. Three, two, three-legged dog. Take it up. Left leg back. Bring it across. Find the blade of your foot. Look forward. Squeeze your left hip back, keep spreading your left toes towards your shin, heart forward. Last one, you also have to practice plank pose, chaturanga. Inhale to back bend, exhale to a dog. And then place your knees down on the ground. Sit up on your heels, rest your hands in your lap. your eyes, set your right fingertips down to the side. Sweep your left arm over your ear. Take a breath. Exhale. Bend the elbow wide. Look underneath and then look up to the sky a little bit more. And then sweep it all the way around. Switch. Take your left arm over and bend the elbow. Look under and then look up a little. So there's more back bend. And then sweep it back around. Okay, so your hands can go back on your heels. We're gonna go just a bit side to side. At one point, or at all points rather, one hand is on a heel. So you lift up, sweep your right arm around. If it's too much with the toenails on the earth, tuck your toes. And then exhale, sweep it. So dance and cam, just side and side. Open it, take it around. Exhale. Open it, take it around. Exhale. A few more. And then finally, back to center. Holding onto both feet. Find that there's a little bit of a back bend. Drive the hips gently forward. Open it up. Camel pose. Five. Four. Three. Two, exhale over your hips. Uncurl your toes if they're tucked and rest all the way down in your child's pose. Come into a teeny tiny little seed shape. Walk your knees together, bring your eyes into your knees. And then roll up your spine. <clears throat> Step your right foot over to the side. Lift up, tuck your toes of your left leg and sit your hip here. So you're here, bring your right hand to the inside of your right foot and your left hand onto your back. So it's almost like you're in a half squat, right? Lengthen your spine. Add a half bind, wrap your left arm behind. Maybe add a full bind, wrap it around the right leg. Ease your knee to your shoulder, your shoulder to your knee. And then release, simply release. Bernadine. 
and switch. So your other foot outside, so you're in your half bind. You can hook your arm inside, put your other hand on your back, turn. There's a little bit of a back bend happening down here. If and when you're ready, bind around the left leg. Let it go. Okay. Come back to both of your knees for a moment. Tuck your toes. I'll show you where we're going real fast, and then you'll join me. We're going to come back to our dog. Feet together. Bend your knees. You're going to look forward. See your squat. Bring your hands inside of your heels. Work a little titi basana prep. That might be plenty. Maybe reach your hands up for your hips. So when you're ready, let's meet in a dog. Bend your knees, look forward, see where you're going. Feet outside of your hands. Reach your hands behind your heels, think lobster claw. Work it in. Ease the shoulders inside of the knees and just fold it. Keep squeezing your knee to your shoulder as you nestle in there. Maybe bring your hands up towards your hips. In some universe far, far away, there's a me touching my hands together behind my back. Three, two, Place your hands down, fingers forward. All right, get in a little bit closer, guys. Walk your knees in more, your feet in more. Make a seat for yourself. This might be enough. Notice my fingers are forward. Maybe squeeze your feet in and crisscross your ankles. Keep squeezing your arms with your legs. Look forward, think, little back bend. Three, two, if you want it. Feet out, Titabasana, firefly. Wrap it around one at a time, crow, or just put your feet down, put your seat down, shake out your legs, shake out your wrists. Take a single reverse tabletop, fingers forward, hands down behind you, feet down, lift your hips up. And then as you exhale, Lower your seat all the way back down. Use the strength of your belly. Reach your arms forward, lower down, all the way onto your back. Reach your arms up over your head. And as you hold opposite elbows, stretch your heels forward. Bend your knees, set your feet down for your bridge pose. Sweep your hands down to your sides. And as you lift your hips up, interlace your fingers underneath of you. Breathe at five. Four. Strong legs, my friends. Three. Two. Exhale, lower all the way down. Let's return to the sense uh, of a tadasana on your back. Stretch your legs out. Reach your arms back, hold opposite, opposite elbows. And then set up for a second round of bridge pose. I'm gonna flip it around so you can see my hands. And if you're not coming into a bridge and instead an Ordva Dhanrasana, fantastic setup for your wheel, or maybe just rest in constructive rest, knees together, feet a little bit wider than your hips. Okay, Setu Bandha bridge pose just as you just did, or set your hands next to your ears. As you inhale, rise to the crown of your head, take just a moment's pause, reset your hands, really get into the feet, and then fire it up. Keep using the strength of the legs to take the heart back. And then as you exhale, come on down. Find your rest, perhaps bring your knees together or stretch your legs out. But what if you don't take a full counter stretch? Rather than pulling the knees in, can you just breathe with what is? Last back bend, here we go. Set your hands, set your feet.
As you inhale, rise up. And then as you exhale, come all the way down. Knees together. One hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Breathe into the earth underneath of you. And then right into our twist. Gather your left knee into your chest. Take it across to the right, your hips a little bit over to the left, spinal twist it out. Maybe take it to full pinwheel, bend the bottom knee, reach back for your foot, kick your foot into your hand. Release and switch sides. Same option to take your pinwheel, bend the bottom knee, reach for your foot. center. Now gather both knees into your chest. Give yourself a full squeeze. Bring your head up. Bring your knees to your eyes. A little rock back. A little rock forward. Crisscross your ankles just so that you can come to your knees. And reach your hands back behind you. Lift your knees a little bit so you're stretching out the tops of the feet. And then lower that back down and do that again. Rock it back. That's a lot. Take your hands a little bit more forward as you rock it back. And then down. And one more time. Place where your hands are working best for you. And then let that go. Separate your feet now, if you can. Sit between your heels. So look, depending on what you have at home, if this is really impossible, Sit up on something. Get a blanket, squish it enough that there's some, there's some real density to it. There's some real height to it and sit on it. You can bring your hands back behind you, broaden your collarbones. We're moving towards Supta Virasana, right? reclined hero's pose. So maybe the next step is to lower down to your elbows, lift your tail, lengthen your tail towards your knees, and you should see the inner thighs roll up just a little bit. Keep your seat wide. You're still having a good time here. Maybe you've got blocks, put it under your shoulder, under your head. You want more? You're gonna to start to recline all the way down. All right, my friends, we're trying for 10 breaths. Breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the nose. To backtrack, set your elbows underneath you, walk it in nice and slow, no rush. Sit up for a moment, make sure you don't get a head rush. Sit to one side, extend your legs out in front of you in Dandasana, staff pose. Make that exactly as it sounds. The strength of a, a really strong staff, right? There's no break. So you plug into your heels, you plug into your hands, you plug into your perineum, you lift your head high. And then imagine the torso like a container. It's got a top and a bottom. Seal the top of the container by lifting your chest up towards your chin and slide your head back just a little bit as though sliding the top across. Seal the bottom gently, lifting the pelvic floor up and back. 
and then breathing that strong ujjayi breath through the back of the throat, just drawing it along the back, a little bit of constriction, inhaling. Exhale. Even though you're working so hard to sit upright, and that might mean a soft bend in the knees, can you still find a little softness in the belly when you breathe in? And then exhale, draw it up and back. And a big full belly Buddha breath. Exhale. Five more. Two. One, inhale, lift your chin from your chest, reach your arms to the sky, take a breath. As you exhale, fold in half, Pachimottanasana. Same option to find just a little lift of the shin of the knees so that you're more on the front of your seat than the back of your seat. Maybe you've got a little bit more space, you can reach down, hold the outsides of the feet, pull the baby toe edges back. And then as you inhale, roll up your spine. As you exhale, lay down on your back, then your feet to the sky, and legs up the wall. If you've got something to slide underneath of your hips, a block or a blanket, that can be really nice. And you can stay here. If you'd like to come into a kidney plow, think of yourself in the shape of a kidney bean, nestled all in close, sweep your arms back behind you. Start to rock your feet back into your hands and your knees into your armpits so everything that's a ball of the body gets to get caught. The balls of the feet, the balls of the knees. Keep nestling inside of yourself. You get the idea. And breathe it. At any point you've had enough of your plow, you can lay back down on your back and send your feet back to the sky. <coughs> and then lower yourself slowly, take your time. So as you lower all the way down, pause at your legs up the wall. Gather your knees into your chest. And once more, rock yourself up. Come to your knees, come to a comfortable seat. We're gonna do a short round of alternate nostrils. So first, it's just gonna go side to side, no holding. And then we'll add the holding. For your mudra, right, for your hand seal, you can keep it really easy. Fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, just like a lobster claw. Or more specifically, ring finger, thumb. Ring, finger, thumb. So get as comfortable as you can. The invitation is to close your eyes. Close your left nostril and take a breath in through the right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close. Exhale left. Inhale left. Close. Exhale right. So now adding your kumbak, you're holding. Take a breath through the right like a sip. Close both sides. It's light retention. So easy, so gentle. Three, two, exhaling left. Inhaling left. Hold at center. Gently hold the breath in. Feel the sense of being full. Exhale through the right. Let's give it a count. Inhale the right. Four, three, Two, hold at center, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, exhaling left, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold at center, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, out the right, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, four, three, two, one. Hold at center, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Out the left, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, three, two, hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, out the right, five, four, three, two, one. Release your hand. Flip your palms up on your lap. Feel what you've made, what you've made in your practice. made in this inner world and then we'll come to a short Shavasana just about a minute or two come on down onto your back or simply stay here Deepen your breath, move your hands, move your feet. Decide how best you'd like to come up to a seat. And as always, we'll seal our practice with a sound of OM, and then we'll add today three slaps to the ground. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep, full breath in as though everyone could hear one another. Here we go. Oh. Three slaps. Thank you, my friends. Have a fantastic day. Happy Sunday.